What's going on? In today's video, we're gonna go over exactly step-by-step -step how to grocery shop as a basketball player. Grocery shopping is a really underrated skill as a basketball player when it comes to sticking to your nutrition plan because everyone wants to focus on what your macros are, how much protein, carbs, and fats you need, and all the little minute details of your nutrition plan. But think about it. If you can't actually grocery shop effectively and get the food you need to cook to stick to your nutrition plan, you're not going to be able to stick to it. And when you don't stick to it, you're not going to get results. So grocery shopping really is one of the foundational habits that you need to understand. You need to know how to do as a basketball player to be successful with your nutrition plan. The good thing is it's really simple and you'll find out by the end of today's video. The first question we're gonna answer is, how often do you need to grocery shop? And it's a very similar conversation to meal prep. I have a video about that on the channel as well if you haven't seen it, but it's a very similar conversation. It really comes down to what you can stick to and what works best for your schedule. If you wanna grocery shop once a week, that's fine. If you wanna grocery shop a couple times a week, that's fine too, so two, three, four times a week. If you wanna grocery shop every single day, that's fine too. There really is no right or wrong answer there. And whoever tells you there is, is probably lying or just making up some BS. So please just be skeptical of that. But really it comes down to what you can see yourself sticking to. So it depends on your schedule and your preference. So if you'd rather just go once and get it all done for the week, cool, go once and get it all done. If you'd rather go every single day, maybe like to have a different set of meals every single day, that's totally fine too, whatever works best for you. The second tip I have for you is to just keep it simple and have a list. That's by far the biggest mistake people make when it comes to grocery shopping is not having a list. Because when you go in without a list, what usually happens? You end up buying random stuff you don't need. I am the worst at this. So having a list definitely helps. And grocery shops are actually set up in a way to make you buy more, make you spend more money there. They're not looking out for your best interest in terms of saving money. So if you wanna save money and save time and save frustration of not knowing what the hell to get, make a list, plan it out ahead of time, and that'll save you a lot of trouble. And I have a grocery list linked down in the description below if you wanna check that out too. And also on the topic of keeping it simple, try to avoid those fancy healthy snacks. There's a lot of like healthy foods, like protein bars and these superfood snacks. They try to get you and, and make you think you need them and they're gonna give you this amazing benefit. And most of the time it's just marketing. So just be aware of that. If you have a certain snack that you like, by all means, go ahead and get it. But you don't need to get these superfood snacks and these fancy protein bars and all these crazy supplements and just, just keep it simple. Long story short. Because really, if you stick with the basics, like your basic protein sources, your basic carbohydrate sources, your basic fruits and vegetables, your basic healthy fats, you'll save again a lot more time because you don't really have a lot of time to spend just wandering around the grocery store wondering what do I even buy? You'll save the money and you'll save the frustration and confusion of not really knowing what to do. So just keep it simple. And then before we get into the third tip I wanna go over today, if you enjoyed the video and you're getting value out of it so far, definitely be sure you drop a like and subscribe down below for new videos twice a week. And the third thing I wanna talk about today is called the rule of three. And it's basically the idea that every time you go grocery shopping, you're gonna get three protein sources, three carb sources and three veggies. And that probably sounds familiar to you because I talked about it earlier in the meal prep video I did on the channel. It's the exact same concept because it translates over from grocery shopping into meal prep. Because if you think about it, you wanna have a very similar framework between the two because what you're gonna grocery shop is ultimately gonna be what you're gonna meal prep. So this idea of the rule of three keeps it nice and simple. So three protein sources, three carb sources, three veggies. Now, with that being said, that's not the only things you can get at the grocery store. You can branch out from there. But the foundation of every grocery trip should follow the rule of three, just to keep it nice and simple. So get those things taken care of. And then if you wanna get some other snack or there are some other things on your list that you need to get, that's totally fine. But again, you wanna have that list. And also another thing to keep in mind with the rule of three is that you can scale it up and down as needed. So for example, if you're going grocery shopping every day, you're probably not gonna need to get three of each category you can probably scale it down a bit. If you're grocery shopping for the entire week, you might need to scale it up a bit. You're just gonna have to test and see what works best for you over time. It'll be a process of a couple of weeks of kind of testing, assessing, testing, assessing, until you find that sweet spot of how much of each thing you need to buy so you don't end up wasting food and you also don't end up wasting money. And another question that comes up when we're talking about grocery shopping is, do you need to buy organic and grass-fed and all these things? And the short answer is no, you don't need to. A lot of people get too caught up in this thinking that they need to get organic, they need to get grass-fed. And as a result, if you, for whatever reason, don't have the resources, maybe you're a college kid living on your own, you don't wanna drop 15 bucks for a piece of steak. Like, you don't need to, that's fine. If you have the resources to, I would recommend it. It'd probably be a good look, 
but it's by no means a make or break thing. Eating non-organic conventionally raised fruits and vegetables is still way better than getting fast food for every meal. So just keep that in mind. Don't let that be a limiting factor in whether or not you choose to eat healthy and pay attention to your nutrition. It doesn't have to be. Again, if you have the resources to, by all means, get your grass-fed steak, get your pasture-raised eggs, that's amazing. But it doesn't have to be a limiting factor if for whatever reason that's not a possibility for you. So now that you've got grocery shopping down, if you haven't seen that meal prep video, I would highly recommend watching that because the concepts discussed here feed right into the meal prep video. So definitely go ahead, click on the screen right here, right here. I forget what side it comes up on, but the video will pop up on the screen right now. Go click that, give it a watch, and of course, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in that next video.